Understanding meaning from context. Look at the words below. What is the meaning of each word? Criticism. Flexible. Adverse. Interact. When we encounter a new word, we can look it up in the dictionary to learn its meaning. We can also use context to try to figure out the meaning of an unfamiliar word. The context of a word is the other words that come before and after it in the sentence. We can also use other sentences that surround the word. By using context, we can often make a reasonable guess about the meaning of a word. This can help us be more effective listeners and readers. Read and listen to the example. What do you think the word criticism means here? The president of the company has received a lot of criticism about his decision to not raise salaries this year. Many employees have complained to him, saying that it is unfair. To use context to understand the meaning of a word, you can ask yourself whether the word has a positive or negative meaning. In this context, we can infer. That criticism has a negative meaning, because it is the effect of a negative situation, not raising salaries. We can also guess that the criticism is a reaction, because we know it is coming from the employees. Furthermore, the second sentence tells us that many employees have complained because they feel the boss's decision not to raise salaries was not fair. Based on this evidence, we can guess that criticism is similar to complaining about something that is unfair, or the act of finding fault with something. Note that writers commonly use context to define a word. Read the examples. Is the meaning of the bold-faced word positive or negative? When you are working with other people, it is important to be flexible. When you are open to other people's ideas, they are more likely to want to work with you. Drinking too much coffee in a day can have several adverse effects on your health, including stomach aches, headaches, increased heart rate, and anxiety. If you said that flexible has a positive meaning. And adverse has a negative meaning. You are correct. If we are told something is important, we can guess that it is positive. Based on the first example, we can guess that to be flexible probably has a positive meaning. In the second example, we are told about negative effects of drinking too much coffee, so we can guess that adverse has a negative meaning. What can you guess is the meaning of the word flexible, based on its context? The correct answer is B. The second sentence gives us an important clue about the meaning of the word flexible. It names a positive outcome of being open to other people's ideas. To be flexible. Means to be able to change with new conditions. What can you guess is the meaning of the word adverse based on its context? The correct answer is A. Stomach aches, headaches, increased heart rate, and anxiety are all clues that tell us adverse. Means something similar to unpleasant. If a word has a neutral meaning, it is neither positive nor negative. When a word has a neutral meaning, we can still use the context to try to understand its meaning. However, we cannot assume that just because the context is negative, the meaning is negative too. Read the two examples. What can you guess is the meaning of the word interact, 
based on the two contexts. In the first example, we can guess that to interact means something you do with other people. We also learn that someone who is talkative and social is someone who probably likes to interact. The second example gives a negative situation, and we learn that saying hi is a kind of interaction. Based on these examples, we can guess that to interact must mean to talk or to communicate with another person. It can be used in either a positive or negative context, so we can guess that it has a neutral meaning. What can you guess is the meaning of the word determine based on the two different contexts? The correct answer is C. Determine has a neutral meaning. In both contexts, to determine something means to figure something out.